In the past week, we've learned of four developments towards mainstream and institutional investment. Each day, it seems we get closer to when crypto becomes accepted as a proper vehicle for value. And it's so exciting to see us building this brave new world that Satoshi gave us. Welcome to Ready Set Crypto. This is your brain on blockchain. So just a few hours ago, we learned that the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange has been working on an online trading platform that would allow large investors to buy and hold Bitcoin. According to emails and documents viewed by the New York Times and four people briefed on the effort, who asked to remain anonymous because the plans were still confidential. The news of the virtual exchange, which has not been reported before, came after Goldman Sachs went public with its intention to open a Bitcoin trading unit last week, most likely a first of its kind at a Wall Street bank. The moves by Goldman and Intercontinental Exchange, or ICE, the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange, mark a dramatic shift towards the mainstream for Bitcoin and cryptos as a whole. Some large financial exchanges, including the CME, have already created financial products linked to the price of Bitcoin, known as futures. But the new operation at ICE would provide more direct access to Bitcoin by putting the actual tokens in the customer's account at the end of the trade. ICE has had conversations with other financial institutions about setting up a new operation through which banks can buy a contract, known as a swap, that will end with the customer owning Bitcoin the next day, with the backing and security of the exchange, according to people familiar with the project. The swap contract is more complicated than an immediate trade of dollars for Bitcoin, even if the end result is still ownership of a certain amount of Bitcoin. But a swap contract allows the trading to come under the regulation of the CFTC or Commodity Futures Trading Commission and to operate cleanly under existing laws, something today's Bitcoin exchanges have struggled to do. Meanwhile, the chief executive of NASDAQ, Adina Friedman, recently said her company could also create a virtual currency exchange if regulatory issues are ironed out. While several hedge funds have been buying and selling Bitcoin, most large institutional investors, such as mutual funds and pensions, have avoided it largely as a result of similar regulatory concerns centered around the decisions of the CFTC and SEC. So by the efforts of the Intercontinental Exchange, if it pans out, could make Bitcoin available to a much wider and much more influential customer base including other financial firms. As I mentioned, in the next few weeks, the exact start date has not been set. Goldman Sachs will begin using its own money to trade Bitcoin futures contracts on behalf of clients. It will also create its own, more flexible version of a future, known as a non-deliverable forward, which it will also offer to clients. The firm has found a way to confidently hold Bitcoin for customers without it being stolen by hackers. The virtual currency trading, though, will be available only to big institutional investors. This is similar to the index fund that Coinbase rolled out in early March. It's available only to accredited investors, and it tracks the four coins on Coinbase's platform. So why has the leading US marketplace for cryptocurrencies been quietly preparing for a monster increase in trading volume? Well, in response to the New York Attorney General's ongoing inquiry into exchanges, the private company disclosed some key company data. Coinbase said it has doubled the size of its full-time engineering staff, and it has overhauled much of the platform's code. These efforts and others like it have resulted in a thousand percent increase in their transaction capacity relative to Q3 of 2017. Coinbase expects to double this new capacity in the coming months. The company's chief operating officer has said that serious demand for cryptocurrency and its core technology made that effort necessary. Coinbase is also gearing up for more institutional money to enter the market, pointing to the report that Goldman Sachs is looking to start a Bitcoin trading desk. In their disclosed letter, Coinbase said that it had traded $150 billion in assets on the platform and it has received more than $225 million in funding. Personnel numbers were also disclosed revealing that the company's hired more than 300 full-time employees. When contractors are factored in, the company has more than a thousand people working for it. So when you put this all together, I cannot overstate the importance of this. Coinbase is gonna be at the forefront of mass adoption. And this is because they're about to introduce their custodial program, where participating banks are going to offer the Coinbase index fund to their customers. 
your average investor is going to walk into their local branch and talk to their financial advisor, and they're going to offer this new product that is extremely volatile, but got a return of over a thousand percent last year. They're going to suggest a small percentage of their portfolio, but thankfully these coins are going to be insured against loss as Coinbase is FDIC insured. People won't have to own the underlying assets. They just pay a few percent in management fees and get to ride the crypto boom without having to worry about security. They'll never have to trade for crypto or make accounts on sketchy exchanges to get them. They'll just have someone buy them like any other financial product. This is what mainstream adoption looks like. Crypto is so volatile right now that it scares most people away from investing in it. You give people a feeling of security by not having to worry about securing the underlying assets. You know, grandma does not want to have to learn about wallets. And you give people the feeling of security by giving them a diversified fund which helps to minimize risk. That's how people invest their retirement accounts. They put their 401ks and IRAs into mutual funds and index funds because it offers returns without a lot of the risk. And so there you have it. Just in the last week, we've seen huge strides in how Bitcoin and crypto are going to enter more people's lives and investment portfolios. Importantly, we are close to seeing institutions enter the space and really take us to the next level. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already in order to continue to see high quality cryptocurrency analysis and advice. Don't forget to hit the bell right next to the subscribe button in order to be notified when we put out a new video. Also be sure to watch some of our other videos and visit our website where we've got more free cryptocurrency education, a free intro course, a free book, and a free newsletter. So definitely check us out. Thanks again for watching. This has been Ready Set Crypto and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.